Guys and Supers, number one is Indian Winner, owned by Stephen Kaufman. Kane Kaufman drives. Two is based on a novel, owned by Tom Gray, the driver, Jeff Fout. Three is What's for Dessert, owned by Glenn Preston Addy, Brett Miller. Four, Wildwood Joe, is owned by James Pichichero with Rick Heitman. Five, Brooklet's Rock, is owned by Pam and David Hanauer, Trent Tharps. Six, Treasure Crest, owned by John Nelson, Perrin, and Dave Hawk. Seven is out. Eight is Stan the Man Musial, owned by Chet Debray with Jack Daly. Nine, Caleb Special, is owned by Pearl Paver, Kyle Ader. Scoring off the second tier, ten, Noble Big G, owned by Robert and Gail Impson, Dallas Miller. Post time for the ninth and six. Ninth race pacing field, lined up in behind the starting gate. There they go. They're off. Wildwood Joe leaves aggressively. There goes Stan the Man Musial from the far outside. Indian Winter is up close along the pylons as they race into the far turn the first time. Based on a novel, comes away just off the speed in fourth. Gap to two and a half back. What's for dessert is fifth by three. Noble Big G is next. And then we get Brooklet's Rock followed by Treasure Crest. And Caleb Special is the early trailer as they continue to scramble up top. Indian Winter comes away on top as they round the turn into the home stretch from Wildwood Joe. And Stan the Man Musial has been parked thus far. 28 and three for the opening quarter. Passing the stands for the first time, and Indian Winner will look to yield to Stan the Man Musial as they approach the wire for the first time. Wildwood Joe is racing in third, and What's for Dessert is soaring up on the outside. First over, Noble Big G moves out to grab that cover. Based on a novel is back to six. Third over and seventh is Brooklet's Rock. Then three further back to Treasure Crest, and Caleb Special trans the field that is covered by a dozen lengths as they round the turn to halftime. It's Stan the Man Musial, but What's for Dessert is coming to him on the outside. 58 and two for the half, rounding the turn into the back stretch and what's for dessert is starting to get the better of stay in the man musial leads by three parts of a length and is within inches of clearing indian winner along the pylons is third noble big g soon to be uncovered in fourth locked up in fifth is wildwood joe third over in sixth is brooklet's rock followed by caleb special based on a novel in treasure crest and a stubborn stan the man musial will not give up pylon position to what's for dessert they hit three quarters 128 and four midway around the far turn it's what's for dessert three quarters of a length stay in the man musial trying to hang tough indian winner shakes free three wide brooklet's rock is closing in wildwood joe is off the pylons and looking for a seam as the field straightens away and a weary what's for dessert has a narrow lead indian winner bearing down here comes brooklet's rock closing down the center it's what's for dessert full out indian winner brooklet's rock caleb special down the inside coming to the line tight photo for win between Brooklet's Rock and Indian winner and then it was Caleb Special and a photo for fourth 159 and four. 20 super 5193 3447 20. Two of three in the late pick three returns 48 even and seven five in the double comes back 48 20. Into the winner's circle is Brooklet's Rock scoring his first victory of the season in 159 and four. A four year old town Asian gelding from Brooklet Matrimony by Armbrough Century, owned by Pamela and David Hanauer, driven to victory by trainer Trent Tharps.